Netlink Daily, applied directly to the forehead. Netlink Daily, applied directly to the forehead. Netlink Daily, applied directly to your forehead. Available on YouTube and NCIX. The BitPhoenix Flow combines studio engineered sound, convenient PC operation, and signature BitPhoenix design in a supremely comfortable package. BitPhoenix Flow, sound that moves you. Today, NVIDIA released their next device in their Shield lineup. However, this time instead of a handheld, they released the Shield tablet. The tablet features a Kepler based Tegra K1 chip for graphics, 8 inch 1920 by 1200 screen, and stereo front facing pure audio speakers. Yes, thank you for front-facing speakers. This new Shield is of course gaming first, so NVIDIA has released an optional Shield Wi-Fi Direct Controller, an optional cover kickstand. Two other notable things, apparently the K1 is beefy enough to output 4K video, and you can put the tablet in console mode by hooking it up to a TV and using up to four Shield controllers. Everything I just said should probably come as no surprise. This tablet has been leaked like crazy. It's just nice to see everything official and ready for pre-order. Last week, it was rumor time for AMD. This week, it's Nvidia's turn. Not exactly enough for a full pian, 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 lightning round, but here, let's just call it a uh, static spark round. It seems that the 8 series cards are just around the corner and the GM204 28 nanometer chips are going to be introduced October or November. Nvidia's Quadro should be getting a slight refresh as six new GPUs in the KX2 lineup were found in the latest Quadro drivers. Oh, and it seems like they're Kepler only for now. No Maxwell for the enterprise users. Nvidia's GTX 880 might have been put through Firestrike Extreme. This really could be just a clever Photoshop, but the performance numbers seem about right with around 35 to 40 percent more performance compared to the GTX 780. <laughs> Can't wait to see MSI's 880 Lightning Edition. Get it? Bam, 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 lightning round. No, lightning Edition. No. no? And finally, Facebook officially owns Oculus. The highly publicized acquisition was announced way back in March, but yesterday, Facebook finally cut through all the red tape and it's official. Palmer Lucky took the opportunity to reiterate that the plan is to quote, promote the long-term adoption of virtual reality, not short-term financial returns. Oh, and on a related note, Wheels just informed me that our DK2 payment cleared, so ours should be in the mail shortly. Jack, there's nothing in your ear. You don't know that. <laughs> That's right, it's giveaway time, guys. I released an unboxing and review of the Kraken Pro Neons, and we're giving all six colors away. Check out this video right here for the details. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Oh man, you have no idea how much fun Sith powers are. <laughs>